So I'm getting kind of used to doing a video a day, more or less. So I had to scoot the camera back a little bit. Something strange happened last night and something strange happened this morning. Last night I was asleep. I kind of, I wasn't startled. I was awakened by something moving in the room. Possibly, I'm not 100% sure Mouse was walking on the bed at the same time. But as I was becoming like aware of my surroundings, I have a really nice down comforter. And when I was kind of becoming aware, it felt like all of a sudden the blanket was laid over me. And then today I was thinking about it and I was like, or was I going through it? <laughs> I don't know. Because it felt like air. And then it felt like all of a sudden the blanket was touching my body. And now I, I sleep in only a huge t-shirt and underwear. And that's it. So, And I didn't want to be a TMI there. But I just had to describe that because when you don't have anything on your legs, you're more aware of what the feeling is like. So... If I slept in sweatpants or something else, I might not have felt that as adequately as I would without. So I had to stress that point. But it felt like like somebody had the comforter up off of me, holding it, and then gently laid it down on me. And I felt the air, actually. You know how you lay a blanket down? You could feel that air going down with it. I felt that. But today I was thinking, I'm like, okay, was that going on or was I going through? Because if I can find the video, I will attach it to this video. Um, but in that video, on my ring camera I have in my bedroom, I used to record it all the time when I was sleeping. But this one night, you can see orbs going around. And then all of a sudden, I had my arm over, I think, my chest or stomach, I can't remember. But underneath my arm lit up. It, the light just lit up. And then I remember thinking, what in the world? And then you see an orb going down and I think it went down beside me, not into the area that was lit up. But that I 100% can tell you was my soul coming back. And as you know, not all of you may know that your earth bodies stay behind and we'll sleep, toss and turn and everything, and we'll sleep while your soul goes and does its thing. So I thought that was interesting. Hopefully, I will remember as I'm editing this, this will remind me. Oh, and this morning, I am, before this morning, I am constantly aware of as I've said before, frequency changes in the room. I can feel beings coming and going. I can smell them coming and going. Uh, sense them, I mean, you name it. I kind of been sensing things. Well, this morning, <laughs> this was a little weird. Even Mouse indicated that she heard something. I'm in there and I'm making my uh, English muffin before work and directly from my kitchen if you keep going straight you go in the bathroom you go in the bathroom or you'll come out of the kitchen into the living room it's a straight shot from where I was standing into the bathroom I can see the shower I can see the kitty litter box and a little bit of my toilet so I was sitting there doing my English muffin and then all of a sudden I heard a cat scratching in the kitty litter and mouse doesn't always use it in the mornings. She does seldomly. I knew she was still eating because I make her food first and then I come after. And so while I'm preparing, I already know out of habit that she's still eating. So <laughs> I heard the cat litter scratch, you know, how they cover or open up an area. I don't know how they do it. And I stopped. And I looked down to the bathroom and then I saw Mouse leaving her cat food and creeping around the corner 
As some of you know, I have that silver rack over there that's got all the food and my big uh, kitchen stuff on. Well, she, that's where her cat food is. It's in the floor right in front of that. She stopped and creeped around real slow. You know how kit, cats are, you know, real stealthy-like? Well, she goes around and was looking at the cat litter. And she stood there looking like, who's in there? And I'm looking at her and I'm looking in there. And then she takes a couple more steps and she goes into the bathroom just a little bit more. And she's looking at the kitty litter. It's a cat litter that has a hood on it. And she was aligned up with the entrance of the kitty litter. And so nothing else happened. And I'm still standing there thinking that was odd and I'm not scared. And I kind of was quiet thinking, I wonder if I'll hear it again, but I didn't. And then she goes back and starts eating again. So I'm like, okay, so maybe I, I've had a few cat, well, three cats in my life that I remember. Her is four. And so I'm like, three have passed already. So I wonder if it's one of them or if it was just a visitor because they do visit just like souls do. Souls will go through your bathroom as you're on the toilet, <laughs> you could be doing your thing on the toilet and they will come right through. I seen one when I was getting in the shower. That was in one of my videos. I was stepping into the shower. I didn't even have my other foot in and I turned around for some odd reason and there goes an orb, but it goes to the mirror. Evidently it went through the mirror because the, that wall goes to the other apartment behind me. And I remember thinking, um, I'm naked here. <laughs> What are you doing? But they're like a gynecologist, you know? Once you see all of them, they're all the same. It's not a big deal anymore. I know that sitting at work all day really hurts my hips. Oh, and I think my neighbors on that side, um, not the neighbor here where you can hear them laughing and being real loud and playing their music real loud, but on the other side, they would uh, play their TV loud and their TV is in, in the living room, of course, which is against my bedroom. I don't remember even seeing the other people move out. I'm gone eight hours a day. So maybe they did it while I was at work and or they got new furniture. I don't know. But some people were moving furniture in over there and I'm like, gosh. I hate it when new people move in because you don't know how they are, as in playing music or just being real noisy, especially on that side, on the side of sleep at. And I go in there against my bed because I was eyeballing it to see if I could go up to it on crutches and somehow lift my only weight-bearing foot up on it without falling and getting up in the bed. And no, there's no way I could do that, which is sucks. So I'll be sleeping on this couch. I was going to try to get a reclining couch, but at this moment in time, I can't afford it. I thought maybe I could. I have extra bills coming out. I have, I owe a cable bill, it's only $40, but I've got to pay that. There's uh, medical bills that I have to pay on. I mean, if I had a recliner, reclining couch, I wouldn't be able to pay those. If I start paying on them, I'm gonna struggle bad. Not real bad, but bad. At least I won't be paying on those bills forever. It's just a couple hundred that I need to pay on, that's all. I really, back on my surgery thing, I really don't look forward to this surgery at all. Only particularly for one reason, and that's because I have to be on crutches. But like I said, I'm gonna try to get a wheelchair also. I struggle with crutches. I struggle badly. I don't really want to use them. They're very uncomfortable and I wobble and I don't feel safe. And, ugh, I don't even know if I mentioned this. I saw it on my um, my PCP medical app that you have for your doctor, and surgeries, appointments, all kinds of stuff. I was hoping that I wasn't gonna have a checkup before 
my six weeks. But I have one two weeks after surgery, and then my next one is at my six weeks. So that makes twice I have to go up and down the stairs with crutches and or I will have to crawl up and crawl down. And I think going down is gonna be very painful. It's gonna be difficult, but I will try. <laughs> so I'm going to end this here. I hope you guys are doing well. I will say one more thing. I have been curious as to, I wonder if my star family and or guides, whichever, I, I mean, they're all the same if they're going to come and check out my hip after surgery like they did my foot because I really loved that. Just for them to come and check, make sure things are okay on the inside of that area. That would be so amazing. Okay, with that being said, I love you guys and I'm going to send you all love, light, and peace. Bye!